guys, today I have sobre a mesa, which translates to Give me one minute, let me find out. Sobre a mesa, which translates to on the table. Let's see what is on the table. Before I get into this video, I have a big shout out to give. I would like to give a big shout out to Glenn. He recently launched his new YouTube channel called Mr. Shan Let Loose. I love that name. On his channel, you'll find mainly comedy and entertainment. So if you're into comedy and entertainment, and let's be honest, who isn't? You should definitely check him out and subscribe. He uploads regularly, so definitely check him out. I'll have the link to his YouTube channel in my description box below. So with that being said, we got Sobre a Mesa on the table. Let's see what this is all about. I have the English subtitles on. You think so, Mesa, Dad? Abacaxi. She sounds like a fed up wife that's tired of cooking for her ungrateful husband. <laughs> I got that all from 10 seconds, guys. Abacaxi. Okay. Ah, tem tangerina também. <laughs> oh, Dete. Do jeito que tá, pra mim, não dá. Eu saio dessa casa. Okay. Às 6 da manhã, todo dia. E vou trabalhar igual um condenado. Why do people always say they work like a dog? I mean, dogs don't really work. All they do is sleep, play, eat, poop in the house, poop outside, and are very excitable. They don't work. I mean, I guess they do. That's working dogs. <laughs> Scratch that! Tudo que eu espero quando eu volto pra jantar em casa é porcaria de uma sobremesa. Pode ser um pudim. Uma porcaria de um pudim. Pudding! Pudding! Pineapple is ten times better than pudding. I'll have pineapple over pudding for dessert any day. It's more healthier, it tastes better, and pudding! So to me, it seems more like a him problem. <laughs> Just say it. Um pudim. Não precisa ser um pudim se você não gostar de pudim. Pode ser outra coisa. Você gosta de outra coisa? Sei lá, quer um sorvete? Ice cream is again. Ice cream is again too. O que eu quero, Mario Alberto? É, Odete, o que que você quer? Divorce. She wants divorce! That's good news for him. Oh. That went from one of the best things a husband or guy in general can hear to the worst then. <laughs> real quick. 100 to zero. Real quick. Hey. George Clooney. George Clooney. Nigeria, yes. Nigeria's in there. Oh, the doorman. Not the doorman. Jeez. Eu quero todos ao mesmo tempo. The abomination, my ears are hearing. The abomination. Vassoura de piroca até semana que vem. Eu quero ficar com queixo para dentro, que nem não é rosa, sabe? Está tudo no saco aqui, no queixo, sem conseguir falar. Who told me to watch this video? We need to fight. We need to square up. Who gave me this video to watch? What is this woman saying? Okay, let me just keep going. Larga que this woman is telling her husband that she wants to be a porn star without the cameras or the pay. Phelps. He is Phelps. For a minute, I thought she was gonna say that she wants her vagina to be gaping so that Michael Phelps can swim in it. Oh my goodness. Porque eu quero ver aquele banho de sêmen. Ah! You're not interrupting her. I love how her husband is not interrupting her throughout this whole thing. He even like told her who the tallest woman guy was. He did not interrupt her. He's actually helping her make her point. Husband of the year. <laughs> husband of the year for sure. Porra, né? Banho de porra mesmo, sabe? Bukaki. Coloca no Google que você vai saber o que que é. She said Google. Quer levantar que nem um boneco de cera, assim, derretendo. <laughs> I love this woman. Eu quero escalar vrabo. Eu quero levar cutucada no colo do útero, entendeu? E depois eu vou querer dar um troco, passar recibo. 
Eu vou querer que me chamem de putinha, de vaca, de vadia, de cachorro. Oh de my god! De This one's actually sticky, you know? She's actually ill. Do you see how straight faced she's saying all this abomination? <laughs> She's saying it with a straight face in the most classiest way possible. If I didn't have my subtitles on right now, I would think she is not, she's saying something so classy. She said she wants to get up like a wax figure. What? Enfim, pra terminar com tudo isso, eu vou... I'll lick all the frothy mess. Ew! Geral, pra limpar a bagunça. E no dia seguinte eu vou acordar puída, assada, não é que nem um fantoche, velho. <laughs> That's what she wants, Alberto. And if you don't know, now you know. No. This woman is officially a savage, and she is the spokesperson for all the frustrated housewives out there. After all that, Mario didn't fuss. He didn't fight. All he asked for was the Mandarin. And he couldn't even get that. After all that, he couldn't even get his damn Mandarin. You know for a fact she's been saving that in her mind for a long time. She's been wanting to tell him all of this for years. All the frustrated house moms out there are somewhere she I can hear the shears from here. If you're silent enough, you can hear it. <laughs> She said even the doorman can get it. The doorman, the man that holds the door open for Mario <laughs> can get it. You know what though? I also have to give kudos to the actress. She did a bomb ass job. Do you know how hard it'll be to have to say all those things while keeping a perfectly straight face? I don't care if they did a hundred takes. The fact that she even got it done, that is a miracle on its own. This actress is a1. She is a bomb. She kept her face straight. Not only did she keep her face straight, she memorized the whole thing. She knew what she was saying. She said it eloquently. She said it in a classy way. And yet she's saying all that. Not even a hint of laughter. Not even a hint of smiling. I am shook. She did an amazing job. And she deserves an Oscar. I'm telling you right now, that woman deserves an Oscar. And the person who wrote the script is sick. <laughs> you are sick. If you're watching this video, you are a sick individual. <laughs> but you are a funny individual. That was hilarious. Her poor husband was just sitting there taking it all. He didn't interrupt her at all. He let her finish. That's a good husband. <laughs> That's a great husband. What? She said she was gonna lick all the frothy mess. <laughs> she had so many quotable lines in there. I, I don't even know where to start from. The lick the frothy mess took me out the most. <laughs> that is so gross. She delivered her lines effortlessly and beautifully. It was art. In all honesty, that was pure art. That has to be my favorite Porta Dos Fondos video I have reacted to. It's only four. This is the fourth one, but that is definitely my favorite. That was hilarious, guys. Whoever told me to react to this, shout out to you. Because that was sick. That was disgusting in the best way possible. <laughs> that was a wild ride. Let me know in the comments, guys. I want to know. I want to know in the comments what part of her speech took you out the most. What part was the most shocking for you? For me, mine will have to be when she was like, I'm going to lick all the frothy mess. Ew! <laughs> Ew! I can't get it out of my mind. And also when she's like, I want to stand up like a wax figure. That took me out as well. So let me know what part of her speech took you out the most because I need to know. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. Let it get out to the world. Let other people see how funny Porta Dos Fundos is. I need to subscribe to Porta Dos Fundos because they have hilarious stuff. And speaking of subscribing, <laughs> make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way and click that notification bell so you'll get notifications whenever I put up a new video and I'll see you back here next time guys stay safe stay healthy and stay savage like that woman right there